What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the Nerf Rival Edge Series Jupiter. Now, this is Nerf's Jupiter, not to be confused with Out of Darts Jupiter, but they're very different blasters, so I don't think there should be too much confusion, but it is interesting that they decided to go with the name Jupiter to me. But nevertheless, let's see what this blaster's got. So, Rival has finally delivered us a sniper rifle, and I wasn't sure that this was ever going to happen, because... It just doesn't really fit in with the line real well, but the way they've designed this blaster, I think it works, given the fact that the balls are still going to fire from very far forward, so we'll still get that accuracy, and it just looks really cool, so I'm pretty excited about this one. It's more for fun, I think, than most of the rival line, which is more for competitive play, but I think this one could be pretty cool, and I think we could see some pretty cool modifications to this thing, so... Can't wait to get this thing open, but before we do, let's go over the package. So what is really cool about this blaster is it's also going to come with a really cool target. And that target, I cannot wait to get open because I believe when it hits, it actually makes a ting sound. That should be super satisfying and really cool. It also comes with a pretty sweet looking bipod, so I cannot wait to check that out also. This is a spring powered blaster. It is claiming velocities of 90 feet per second, so a little less than our normal rival line, and then obviously gives you that rival accuracy. So let's go ahead and turn this thing around, see what's on the back. So it's showing a what it's calling a monopod, a little stand that supports the back of your blaster when in this sniper configuration. So that's really cool. It shows you the target a little bit better there and that bipod how it extends so that's really cool it shows you how you can see all your ammo so that's really sweet so let's go ahead and turn this thing around and crack it open all right you guys so we get all kinds of cool stuff with the jupiter here so obviously you're going to get your blaster you're going to get 10 cool new lime green high impact rival rounds we're going to get a few different parts here that will make up our target so that's pretty cool we get our bipod and some instructions so we'll go ahead and assemble our target here real quick we have a left and a right arm so we'll go ahead and attach those hopefully i'm doing this correctly I think they go this direction though. There we go. So that is right, and this is the right. It says R on here, so I, it's my left right now, but it's it's the right arm. And then this is the left arm, which it says L right there. But that's the way it goes. And then we will put our target inside. Lock that in, and there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw on our bipod here, just like that, and then it just clamps on with this clamp right here, so this takes it off, this locks it on, pretty sweet. Go ahead and load up our 10 rounds, pull this back, Ooh, a little clunky at first. All right, we got it loaded, but it was a little strange because I kept trying to load in the 10th round and it kept pushing the 9th round into the barrel, which is not great because then you're just gonna fire two balls at once which could be cool in a certain situation, but not great for a sniper rifle. So let's go ahead and go over all the features of the blaster real quick. This is really cool to me. This is actually rubberized, which is really nice. So it's a nice little cheek rest, should be pretty cool. We do have a tactical rail on top there, so we could put that red dot sight that Rival came out with on there if we want to, but hopefully they'll come out with some other things. A scope would be really sweet for this blaster, obviously. We obviously have our bipod here that does retract so there you go it does shoot out like that and then you can push it back in and then you can also fold these back if you want to or forward that looks a little silly but you know pretty sweet so you can do that pretty neat then we have this guy here and that I believe should 
pull out there and push that in. It's a little hard to do one-handed. <laughs> so we can pull that out like that. There is different positions it can lock into. So you can put it, there's a, probably a, about one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six positions there. So that's pretty sweet. And then you can just do that and it closes right up. So it automatically closes, but doesn't automatically extend. The grip is large, very large, very comfortable as usual. I really do like this grip a lot. Very nice size, not too thick like some of the rival blasters. So that's really, really nice. We actually obviously have our bolt action prime here. So we can pull that back and prime it, but it's already primed. So we won't do that. And then we have this lock, which is our trigger lock, which we have in all the rival line. But this one is just on this side and there is not one on that side. So it's a little bit right hand dominant, but I guess if you're left-handed, it actually should be pretty accessible with the thumb. So actually it isn't too bad. There is some sort of deep priming button here. So if you have some sort of jam or malfunction, I assume that will allow you to deprime your blaster. We have a flip up sight here, iron sight on the front here, and then and that will line up with our rear iron sight on the back. So it's pretty sweet. Obviously we loaded the balls in through this hole right here when the bolt is back. So let's go ahead and fire this thing because I've talked about it enough. Pretty sweet. All right, you guys, so this thing looks pretty darn sweet. There is a priming indicator back here that I did not realize because it is a bit hidden, but there is one there. The trigger is really cool looking, I think, and this thing is pretty darn awesome. So if you're enjoying this review, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Let's go ahead, take this thing outside, put it over the chronograph in the range, and see what kind of performance we're getting. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and put some shots over the chronograph with the Jupiter here. Pretty excited to see how, how this thing performs. It definitely is very ergonomic and very comfortable. I really like the stock length. I mean, it's not even that uncomfortable, even though it doesn't really have any sort of place that looks like it should be shouldered there, but it's still not too, too bad. And I do like the cushiony of this rubberized cheek rest. I kind of wish there was something to grab a hold of up here, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and see what kind of performance we're getting. 102, wow. It did seem like it was hitting pretty hard. 100. 99. 95. 100. Duplet 100. 101. 101. Very consistent. 103. And this thing has a lot of ammo on store. That's pretty sweet. 95. 100. guess we're out. Let's go ahead and check out those ranges. So that was actually really impressive. It did seem like it was hitting pretty hard indoors. It did seem like it was hitting a little harder than a Kronos does stock. So we do have a short one of 53 feet. It is a bit windy out so and the wind is actually into me so that could hurt ranges at times. We got one of our line balls here. I did lose a couple line balls inside so we had to shoot a couple regular rival rounds but that one was at 57. We have one here at 60. We have one past 62. Another one just past 63. Very accurate though. Pretty much most of them were down the line. Uh, 60, just past 66 so 66 and a half feet those two and then we have you know four right here. This one just off to the right a little bit more between 68 and 71 feet so i'd say that's pretty impressive ranges out of a blaster that was supposed to be shooting a little softer i think than most rival blasters i think that's 
really, really good. And you know what, for a toy Nerf blaster that's stock, I think 70 feet is pretty darn good for a sniper rifle. I am very impressed. So we'll go ahead and uh, shoot a few more shots in sniper mode and uh, bring that target out and see what that thing's all about. All right, you guys, so I have my Jupiter set up here in sniper mode with the target way out there at 65 feet. If I can hit it that far away, that'd be pretty impressive, but we will see what we can do. All right, you guys, so I think this is a pretty lofty goal trying to hit that small target from this far away, but we'll see what we can do. Ooh, just to the right. The wind is also going to make this tricky. Oop, that one went way to the left. <laughs> wow, these are flying way over the target, so target might be too far away. Maybe we'll level this up a little bit, take our angle off. There we go. See if that helps. Ooh, we hit hit it, but we did not hit the... We hit the target, but we didn't hit the, the uh, green part of the target, so it didn't make a noise. But we're getting close. Oh, that was close. The wind took it to the right there just at the end, I think. Man, doing this outside is tough. Oh, that one went left. This is getting some really good ranges, guys. I'm very impressed with it. Ooh, that was close. Let's see if we can get lucky. Ooh, that one was just short. All right, you guys, so since you probably don't want to sit here and watch me all day try to snipe a target that's so far away, we're going to move a little closer, and hopefully you can get a idea of what it sounds like better that way anyways, and I can actually hit it. So hopefully this will work. I'm actually going to shoot it the other direction so we don't shoot balls into the pond. We'll put it right here, and we'll go back a few feet and try to hit this thing. There we go. First try at about 20 feet. <laughs> Ooh, the curve to the right, just the end there. That was unfortunate. There we go. Right back at me. Let's back up a little bit, see if we can still hit it from standing. A little more used to shooting from a standing position. Oof. A little high and a little to the right there. A little bit of curve. A little high again. Little low, overcorrected. Rival rounds just like to curve just the slightest there, which makes it sometimes hard to hit a very small target. Oof. A lot of them are curving just to the right. There is a breeze that's kind of going left to right there, so that could be the reason. Oof. Well, that time it didn't when I tried to play the wind there. Oh, a little low. There we go. All right, guys. Well, I think that target is pretty sweet. I'm going to have to use this. It'll probably be better to shoot at indoors where you don't have to deal with the elements. But, you know, either way, pretty darn cool. And I know, you know, targets are definitely fun for every age, especially younger ages. I know kids love to shoot at targets. So I think this is a really nice addition with the product. And, you know, all of this is retailing for 50 bucks at Walmart right now. I think it is a Walmart exclusive as of now. So that's pretty sweet. So we'll go back inside and I'll give you my final thoughts, but you know, overall, I think this thing is pretty darn cool. All right, you guys, so the Jupiter is pretty darn sweet, if I do say so myself. I love that it comes with a target. I think that's awesome. And also all the bipod and the monopod, you know, all the things I think is really, really cool. I hope they come out with other attachments because I think attachments in this line are really cool. They've only come out with a few, so. The look of the blaster I really, really dig. I really love the see-through window to see your ammo. I think that's awesome, you know. And the loading door that they've deleted now, unlike the Kronos, I think that was really smart of them, so it's a lot easier to load the blaster now. And, you know, for a $50 blaster, I think this is pretty darn sweet. Obviously, I'll put links in the description box to where you can pick one of these things up. It is a Walmart exclusive, so that'll probably be the only link I can share with you. You could either buy it online or possibly in stores when they do put these on shelves. I haven't seen one in my area on shelves, but they are very late putting things like this on shelves in my area at Walmart. So definitely check online if you want one immediately. And thank you guys so much for watching. I think this is a pretty 
pretty sweet blaster and I if you think that a rival sniper is something that you'd like I think picking one of these things up is not a bad deal so if you didn't before smash that like button please subscribe and as always guys peace out